Hi Leo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your May 2021 mid-month tarot reading. This is for all Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new to the channel, welcome to you. I'm glad you are here. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days, watch a different part of your chart, or even look around on Mondays because the format is different every Monday. So there's a different style of reading here. And then thanks to everybody for subscribing and watching readings and of course hitting that like button. I do appreciate it all. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to invite you to join us and become a subscriber. Then you'll know when anything new is posted here on the channel. All right, what advice do you have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Leo need to know, please? What messages do you have for Leo, please? All right, here we go. Let's just do one more pick. All right, we will begin here with the tarot. We'll have the angel answers. All right, your current situation, you have the empress. The immediate influence is the five of wands. Your destiny is the three of cups. You've got the hierophant in the distant past, the three of swords in the more recent past. Now, the energy coming towards you is the seven of swords, but you're represented as the magician. The person or situation you're dealing with is the page of pentacles. You've got the Ten of Swords in the out, or excuse me, in your hopes and fears, the Eight of Pentacles in the outcome. Then the bottom of the deck is Clarifiers. Interesting. You've got the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and then the Five of Cups. So I feel like they're telling you, especially because you're represented here by the Magician, you've got some really nice influences here. But it's like, don't get bogged down. Don't take your eye off the prize. Don't get bogged down by any small setbacks or somebody who doesn't do what you expected them to do. Or maybe even somebody who kind of tries to take little jabs at you. You're the king in this. You know, you've got your own element here, the king of wands and, and the king of pentacles. So in terms of, of being successful in money and any kind of a situation where you'd be giving a presentation or speaking to people or organizing things, anything where you'd be a leader. These are two leadership cards. Now, the five of cups is, again, that petty disappointment. You've got a couple of fives here. So I do feel like they're trying to tell you not to get, like I said, too aligned with that energy because the five of cups is looking at the problem. All he has to do is turn around. It's really a she, but all they have to do is turn around and look at the two upright cups. So I feel like they're trying to tell you, stay in solutions. It doesn't matter what other people do. You know, if they don't do something, you'll find the solution for it with the King of Pentacles and King of Wands here. King of Wands too can be a little bit like, if I can do it, so can everyone else. The King of Wands doesn't have like a lot of pity for people who are lazy or just don't follow through. So you have here Taurus, you have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Cap. You've got Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you do have Fire here, Aries, Leo, Sag, and you do have wa um, Water here too. So I do love the Empress. It's a card, of a beautiful card of the mother of the tarot. And it's interesting because she is, um, she's the card of the Hierophant impregnated by, excuse me, not the Hierophant, the High Priestess impregnated by the Magician. So it always makes me laugh when they appear together. Um, but with the, the Empress, it's a card of new growth, new opportunities. It's also being completely open to possibilities. There's no closed minded here at all. And I see it too with the magician, which is much like kind of that fake it till you make it. So if there's some petty drama around you with that five of wands, I feel like you're going to have the uh, capacity to see it coming and step around it. You might even be the person who's the placator in it. You may be the person who pacifies it if it's something at work around you because I do get something with that damn seven of swords that there's somebody at work or maybe in your friendship group that's creating problems for other people they're gossipy they don't know what they're talking about most of what they say is not very accurate and so I feel like you as the empress the empress would never be involved in that you've got too much class 
and you have other things to focus on. That stuff is for people who are completely lost and don't have any focus. You've got focus with the Empress. She is, like I said, she's the mother of the tarot too. So in terms of fertility, if that's something, because with the Eight of Pentacles, any goals that you set are yours for the taking. And there's a gift being given here. So if it's fertility that's on your mind, I do see that as moving forward. You know, there's definitely nice aspects here. You know, she's ruled by love though too. So in a relationship, if there's been some petty stuff around it, I do see you moving beyond that and not ending the relationship, but getting around some of the petty energies. So the three of cups is like, three of cups is like partying and celebration. Some of you, that may just be in terms of your destiny. You may be somebody who is a phenomenal host or you're the one that always gets everyone going. Let's go out. Let's go do this. You've got great ideas, creativity, but people see you as someone who is attractive, you're fun, um, fun loving. And so I think they also see you as kind of like seeing the bright side of things. They like how you see the world. They like your worldview. People around you are very attracted to that. It's that high vibrational stuff. And people around you feel that frequency and they want to be near it. So this can be a card of reunions though also. So some of you may have a relationship. It's like part of your life path that you keep coming back to it. And so if for you, it's about clarity. Those of you that are doing that, clarity of mind, knowing really what you want. And, and that's the key to it. Because when you get confused, the universe will give you a mix of, of some of what you want, some of what you don't want, because you're sending out signals asking for it. So with this, though, it is a happy card. It's a celebratory card. Now, the Hierophant is a marriage card. It's a priest. And so with this, if there's been something in the past, maybe you have had a marriage and it's really a foundation that helps you with some of this disappointing energy that shows up here. So you may find that you vent to your life partner about your asshole boss or this person at work. Um, but with this, it is stability. It's a partner for life and it's commitment. It's also too a card of balance of intellect of knowledge and so the gray in the card represents knowledge whereas i mentioned before the yellow is the gifts from the universe so you've got a nice blending of using your life experiences to move forward in a way that's got compassion um and in it like i said in a relationship you do have something moving forward here so if you've already had been in with somebody and that empress is here just signifying hey there's more to this things are moving forward in terms of building a family um, but others of you, like I said, it could just be a relationship that moves forward. So the Three of Swords is heartbreak and it's disappointment. So I do feel like, again, whoever the Seven of Swords, they do have an emotional impact on you. And the Three of Swords, though, is acceptance of it. So if there's somebody that you just keep saying, this person will never change, they're never going to because you you believe that about them. And you'll manifest them how you find them or believe them to be. You get what you expect, whether you want it or not. And so if you want to manifest them differently, you're going to have to change your view of them. Because I feel like they've shown you enough times. It's kind of a perplexing situation. They've shown you so many times who they are that it's hard to see them in any other light. So I feel like you've accepted this about them. And, and for some of you, it's just going to be a matter of detaching from the energy. So you say, well, I accept that they're... That's how they are, but I'm going to manifest them out of my reality. I just don't want them here anymore. So with the Seven of Swords, with the proper precautions, you'll see it coming and you'll move away from it. So again, it may be about protecting your ideas with the Magician here, because the Magician, we'll, t we'll talk about that in a minute, but the Magician teaches us not to share our, our ideas until they're fully manifested. The Seven of Swords can introduce doubt, limiting beliefs, criticize us or even steal the ideas for their own and present them as their own. So you have to be aware of that. There's somebody around you that I don't feel like has much of an influence over you, but they're, the way that they behave can bring you into that lower vibrational state. Um, they might also physically take stuff too. So if it's somebody at work and you keep finding you know, stuff that you put in the refrigerator missing, here they are. Um, it could be somebody too in your family who takes your stuff and it's just really annoying, but they don't think ahead. They don't think of other people. They don't really understand why they're even here. I mean, this is someone with a very limited worldview. 
so you're the magician. I mean, you've got beautiful energies in your destiny here and in terms of this outcome. You know, anything that you put your mind to, you're going to master. There's no limitation. The magician is transformational energy. It's big time transformation. Bringing heaven to earth, it's a law of attraction card. It's a powerful card. It's you having a lot of power in the situation. It's also a card that lets you see things and see people for who they are. The magician is not like stage magic that creates illusion. The magician gets rid of illusion. So you may also end up exposing somebody with that seven of swords here. And But I feel like the way that you do it is you're such a class act. People love it. So if it ends up happening, I'll be interested to hear because it's it definitely with this kind of energy, you don't you can't catch a struggle here. Now in a relationship, it has every element. Everything's here. The money's here for those of you that are looking to build a family. You have the right things in place to be able to afford that, to be able to make those changes in your life emotionally and physically and mentally. It's also like though too having access to magic. And so it feels like it's magic, but it's really you being in alignment. I mentioned too, it's feeling the energies first. You, the secret, the real secret is feeling it, is is in your feelings. So it's not just thinking it in your mind, it's knowing it in your heart too. So the page of pentacles is the person or situation coming towards you and they've got an offer. And it's an offer that's long-term and stable. It could be in the developing stage. It can be commitment in a relationship, but it also could be in money too. Um, it's also a card of being a little bit more sensible with money. So you may find that even though the magician has wonderful ideas and no limitations, you may find that you just make some different choices financially. But in the long run, it helps you to build momentum financially. It's a very playful, energetic kind of energy though. So overall, I feel like the situation that you're entering into is light, it's fun. And especially with people around you, you've got the Seven of Swords, but I feel like the other people around you are here to have fun. And they also value you. They value your friendship. Your partner value, values you. And those of you that that Three of Cups represents a relationship that keeps coming back around, they also value you um, and, and see what you have. They, they, ha they want what you have. Now, I find it interesting that you have three threes right in a row. The Empress is also a three. And threes are wonderful numbers in the tarot, okay? They signify to you that things are working out. It's a it's a, a number of reassurance, but it's also a, kind of a magical number. Nikolai Te Tesla was very superstitious about the number three. He believed it had power. He would not stay in a hotel room that was not divisible by the number three. So I do feel like you're coming into this place of personal power and it lends you to like this, like I said, like the sort of vibrant, magical energy around you. So your hopes and fears, I do with this 10 of swords, I think you are going to end up putting somebody in their place, but you do it in a way that I don't feel like it has a lot of repercussions for you, but it is the end of this, whatever this petty nonsense is around you. It, it ends it, and I feel like it's you that does the deed, okay? I also think that um, it's sort of your hope to be done with whatever this is, with the Seven of Swords. And in the power of the magician, you'll do it. I mean, there's you're in an empowered energy field. So the Eight of Pentacles is a card of laser focus. You've got money coming in for sure. So if there's some issue with work, it may end up launching you into a place where you're getting more clients or getting more business or getting more in terms of money in general. And in terms of a relationship, it's investing. It's two people wanting to invest in a relationship, wanting to build a future together and doing it. It's a card of commitment, of stability. So let's see what the angels have to say here for you, Leo. I like it when cards are like this, where it shows a little bit of conflict um, just because that's life, you know, I'd love to say that we're just going to uniformly attract frequencies that match us at all times. But the problem is we can't keep our own frequencies stable enough to do that. So it dips and bobs and we go, oh, Jesus, how did I end up with this person in my path? Well, you probably changed a little bit. Um, so let's get a timeline here for Leo. All right, you've got... Communicate clearly. We talked about that. The universe is always hearing you. So be clearer in your heart about what you want. 
you got peaceful resolution. I love that with this reading. And I see it in the, the tarot too. Whatever this is, it's definitely getting resolved. You've got the situation will improve. So whoever that little seven of swords is, I feel like it actually almost, it's like I see it as a springboard for you. I don't think you are going into it intending it that way, but that's what I think is going to happen um, in the near future. And it may be somebody who's a real thorn in other people's sides too, because you've got a yes. So I feel like the, any conflict around you is going to resolve and your focus really part of what ha is going to help you with this is your focus on those overall goals, the long-term things you want in your life. That's what helps this get itself resolved. So good things are coming for you, Leo. I love you and I'll be back again soon.